What's up guys, coming at you with another video. This is how to put text on the side of an object, uh, whatever the object might be. In this case, it is a cup that I made. I'm gonna show you how to have the text in the object. We can either have it engraved going in or going out. So here is another cup that has no text on it. Very simple, we're gonna keep this video nice and short. I'm going to go over to sketch. So we're going to click on sketch, hit the plane that we want. It's going to be our Z plane. So we're going to select that. All right, let's, let's drag this up and we're going to want to select text. We're going to write whatever we want. So before that, let's uh, choose how big we'll do one inch, go to text, type in whatever we want. I'm going to type in frizzled. I'm going to bold it. Choose your font, do whatever you want, turn it around. So there we go, it's 180 degrees. Um, maybe when you typed it in, it was already like this. But there's your text, center it. Maybe I want the text to be right about there. You hit OK. And as you can see, we can hit finish sketch up here. The text is on the inside, and that's not what we want, obviously. So what do we do? We type on, we click the text and we want to extrude it. So depending on if you want it engraved or if you want it coming out embossed, is that's what it's called? I, I don't know what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. Will just depend on which way this arrow goes. So if you want it engraved, then you want the arrow facing away from the surface. If you want it coming out of the surface, like I have in the example here, you can see that is coming out. Then you have the arrow pointing towards it. So click on that, hit extrude. Say we want it out, so we're gonna do negative one to just kind of flip it. And if we, as you can see, inside it's just kind of like a floating text now. Uh, let me zoom in so you can see what I mean. Okay, let's spin it. See how there's just this text on the inside of the cup and that's not what we want. We want it on the outside. So how do we do that? Well, it's very simple. All we have to do is go over to here, the extrude tool. Now I haven't hit enter yet, right? So I did negative one. And if you go over to start, we got profile plane, switch it to from object. So we click on that and now we could choose where we want it from. So I want it on this object, the, the side of the cup. So I click on that and there we go. It's that easy. Now there's text on the side of the cup. Say we want the text to go the other way. So we just reverse it. I have it negative one. So the arrow's facing that way. If I want the arrow to face the other way, I just type in one and there you go. It goes in. So whether you want it in or out, and depending on your dimensions, so my cup is uh, four, no, six millimeters deep. So I can't go too deep, right? But one millimeter is really all you need. And then you hit OK. We'll keep this one negated because the example was uh, popping out. So this would just be the opposite. But there you go. So if we take this and spin it around, there it is. It's on the inside, right? And again, if you just have it the other way, it will be like this on the outside. And that's pretty much it. Adding text to surfaces is very easy. Whether the surface is round like this, you can see it kind of goes around it. Or if the surface is flat. I mean, if it's flat, that's even easier. But that's it. You like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions or something's not working, just uh, drop a comment and I'll try to answer it. Um, and uh, smash that like button, like I said, because it really helps out. But that is pretty much it. All right. Thanks, guys.